Hello, I am the Laughing Simon, and this is the Dragonborn. I am handing over the reins of the Dragonborn to the AI, to you. The fate of Skyrim rests in your hands. What will you do with it? Big Stevie, Big Stevie Dragonborn, what are you going to do with the fate of Skyrim? I've got your back, buddy. You don't have to keep an eye on me. Do you not trust me, Dragonborn, sir? I know you're the Dragonborn and you can do what you want, but you can't walk backwards all the way to Whiterun, assuming that's where we're going. There are no dragons in the bushes. Stevie, we're in the water now. Yes, have you have you come to that the same conclusion I've come to, is that we just walked in a big circle and, and now we're in the water. We're not going to get much done today, Stevie, are we? <laughs> okay, we're on the move. We're on the move. We've, we've, we've not, never met... No, I was going to say we're on the move. We've given our feet a wee wash. We're good to go. And save Skyrim. There's bloody well dragons, big man. Yes. Get a move on. Bloody hell. Hopeless, so oh yes. Okay, we're now going in the opposite direction of the Yarl. Brilliant, excellent. It's all right for you lot. I'll cut out a lot of this. I'm going to be here for hours. What if he wants to go miles away? How long is it going to take? Why Why are you going back? Why are you going? Why are we going backwards? Why are we going backwards? The dra don't, no, don't stop. Don't you dare stop. Come on. It's time for adventure. You've walked us in a big circle. Look, there's Bleak Falls Barrow again. But now we're going to go to Ember Shard Mine and we're going to clear it out of bandits. That's what we're going to do. Never mind protect the people from the dragons. That's maybe, that's maybe a bit much. But what we can do is protect the people from the bandits. Batter that guy. Oh my god, you're a mage. Right, okay, okay. Ah, ow, ow, okay. He's, he's, a, he's a bit... He's a, gets, gets a bit wide with the old fire. Um, are you not gonna... Oh, sorry, I just took his boots off. Uh, uh, okay, I, 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 I want... Right, you know what, I'll, I'll look people later. Where did they go? Where did they go? Is he in here? Have we lost him? Where's the dragonborn? Where did he go? Stevie? No, 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 I'm not fighting them all myself. There he's... <laughs> he's in there. Ow, 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 ow. Stevie. Stevie, I found you, pal. I found you. Ah. <laughs> Where's my wee dagger? I've got a dagger, I can help! Uh, uh, oh no, we're going to mine now! Okay, well, you know what, you're right, you could probably mine and smith, smith yourself some new weapons. You're not, you're not going to you're not going to get the rest of them, no? You're not even going to finish the bloody dungeon, mate, you're just going to walk straight back out. Alright, fair enough then, I guess the treasure was all you were after, after all. Is that the type of dragonborn you are? Not interested in the lives and safety of the common man. Just interested in filling your own pockets. Well, I guess I'm cursed to, to follow you anyway. Stevie, this isn't the exit. If you came all this way to sit down and have a drink, I'm going to be raging. I can't believe that, Stevie. You're a lazy bam. You've only cleared out half the dungeon. Is there a chair for me, sir? Did I get, did I get a chair? No. I just, I just sit in the... F I'll just sit on this big uncomfortable rock then. Where did he go? I stopped looking for two seconds, where did he go? I stopped looking for two seconds and he disappears. Is this what it's like to be a follower? Is this is why followers always get lost? You think that their AI's crap, but really they just lose sight of you. Oh no, he's up there. Ah, ah. Yeah, see, I was in there with the diversion, pretending I didn't know what I was doing. And you came in where the double with the double fire. Ow, ow, get him, he's the big man. Ow. One of these days I'll hit somebody, I swear, okay? It's just that you have lots of fire, and I'm afraid of fire. And you're not particularly careful with it, are you? No, you're not, Stevie. If it, what man to man here, you know, I'm, I've, now, I've now helped you kind of clear out a dungeon, maybe. And if we're being perfectly honest with each other, if we, if we can be frank, I, I'll tell you what, I'll even do you the courtesy of not pointing a knife in your face when I talk to you. Um, I'll talk to your back, though, that's perfectly fine. Um, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Oh, mate, this video's a shit show. <laughs> what are we doing? Are we leaving? Are we actually leaving now? Can I take... Ow! All right, never mind. Who tries to grab a torch by the tip? Isn't that usually locked? How did you get in there, Stevie? You're magic. You're ready. The dragonborn, eh? The dragonborn, he's different from... He's built different from the rest of us, so... So the dragonborn is... I don't... I mean, to be fair, right, you could just climb through this humongous hole. Now, are we cooking pop? We could go and make... We could go and make a stew, a nice, delicious, tasty stew. I could make a delicious, tasty stew for you, or you could just walk away. Careful of the big stones. See, if you touch these, you die, basically. Although they are deceptively light. Be careful. Oh, you had your wish. <laughs> Everyone in the comments asking what had your wish means. And there's big lasers again. This is an ongoing problem on this channel. And now we move onwards to our next adventure. After our first successful adventure where we cleared out Ember Shard Mine. I mean, he, he cleared out Ember Shard Mine. I mostly got lost and sprayed with stray fire. That's what a follower does. Just cannon fodder. He's just white noise to the chaos and destruction of the Dragonborn. How do you treat your followers? Poorly, I imagine. Bet they all treat them poorly. 
Uh, not like you, you just treat me amb ambivalently. Is that the word I'm looking for, Dragonborn? You don't know what ambivalent means. Never mind. There's the big sky laser problem. Okay, there's, there's a better shot of the sky lasers, if you were, wond if you were wondering why, why it happens. I don't know. It's something to do with map markers. And we move onwards to Falkreath, by the looks of it, or somewhere near Falkreath, maybe, hopefully. Because this is also technically the way to Markarth. And you could maybe even say solitude. I swear there was a wolf. I saw a wolf. Stevie, I would never lie to you. I'm your faithful follower. Sworn to carry your burdens and kill your wolves. Or at least sworn to kind of ever so slightly distract the predators of the, the forest. Um, and then you can kill them. Because I only have a diddy wee dagger. Hello fellow travellers, it's I, the Laughing Simon, who you've probably never heard of. But that's the Dragonborn. Eh? Have you, have you heard of the Dragonborn before? You were the horse. Right, no. No, right, well he can't go anywhere, but you, lovely, this is, this is getting uncomfortable. I need to go. This time I'm going to help, watch. Ow, I, I was going to help, I swear to God I was going to help, Stevie. I, I even jumped in, and then I hit myself in the leg with the butt of my, my dagger. I'm helping. No, <laughs> I'm hopeless. Oh my God, I'm hopeless. I'm not hopeless. I'm not unnecessary. I'm not dead weight. I just need something with extra reach. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this bad boy! You were just gonna let this go. That person's head's away over there. Where did their friend go? Their friend is literally hiding. That's hilarious. Can you hit people with a staff? Let's find out. Not that I'm intent- not- I'm, I would never use you as a test dummy, obviously. Oh, we're at half moon mill. If you hit a vampire with a staff of zombification, does anything happen? If they're already undead, does it reverse undead? Would it turn them back into people? Would it turn them back into dead people? Can we go to half moon mill and test my hypothesis? You- there we go. I wanted to make sure you were still corporeal. <laughs> That's a thing people check every now and again, okay? Oh my god. I don't know how long it'll be in the video, but I've been following you about for ages and I've been bantering the entire way and I'll probably need to cut most of it out because it'll end up boring as hell. But I am losing my mind doing this. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, if anybody watching this knows how you can force an NPC to jog everywhere or run everywhere, um, I don't think that's possible, but please let me know. No, I'm just, I just, I just asking for, I'm asking the nine, yes, the nine, for their aid, like Gondor does. Where are we going? Whiterun, Windhelm, Markarth, Solitude, oh no. Rorikstead, Helgen, which is it? Which is it? Which is it? It's this way! Which still could be anywhere. Oh, there's some lads in danger. There's Stevie, there's lads in danger. Where did they go? Why did you teleport behind me when there was lads in danger? Oh, as soon as the Empire needs a bit of help, suddenly, Big Stevie is nowhere to be seen. Oh, interesting, interesting development there. Interesting bit of character development there, officer. And I'm with him, so I hate you too. Hey, we got Wolf Buddy. We'll call him Shaggy. Shaggy the dog. Big Shaggy. Big Shags. <laughs> no, we probably shouldn't call him Big Shaggy. Wee shags. I shouldn't have named him right because he's going to disintegrate, isn't he? He's going to disintegrate and then I'll miss shags. Oh, he came up for attention and everything. Oh, shags. Hey, you're a good boy. He's a good lad. Oh, sorry. He didn't deserve to. Oh, no. He did the last, the last interaction I had with shags was grabbing him by the snout aggressively for no reason. I hope that's not how he remembers me. Are you coming back to pay your respects to Shags? No, of course you're not. Stevie, I feel like a part of me's missing. A sort of shaggy part of me. A shaggy, I've got a big shaggy hole in my heart and it goes and it disintegrates when I grab it by the snout. I understand we're both grieving, but keep walking. What if we held hands? Don't walk away from me when I try to hold your hand. Come on, we can walk together. What happens if I let you go? Are you going to walk all the way backwards to where you once were? Or are you going to figure it out and keep going? This can't turn into another drag video. What if I just pull you to the next crossing and then you can make a decision from there, okay? Just to kind of get a move on because here's my worry, okay? 
And Fano the Dragonborn, all right, and we've been hanging around for quite a wee while. Fano the Dragonborn, come nightfall, you're going to want to go to the pub. Well, I'll certainly want to go to the pub, and you're going to want to go to the pub, but it could be any bloody pub in the world. So you're just going to, it's going to take you forever to walk there. So I would like to go to wherever you're trying to go to before nightfall. And we can't not go to the pub. Where do they go? Oh no, don't walk all the way backwards. Don't walk all the way backwards. Oh no, he's walking all the way backwards. <laughs> Don't kill that wolf, okay? Shag's death is still raw in my heart, and I don't think I can cope with another, another disintegrated wolf. I mean, he would only be disintegrated if I resurrected him, right? But then I probably would resurrect him, because the longing in my heart is still raw and bare, and, and he's attacking us. Oh, ah! See, he wanted a cuddle. He's Shag's incarnate. We Shag's the second. Hey, rub his butt, rub his butt. Hey, <laughs> we Shag's the second. That's the best bit about Skyrim VR, by the way, is playing with the dogs. Now we're a squad of three. Ooh, big holes, big holes for a happy dog. Yeah, come on, boy. Yeah, I love the way. Oh no! Why do they always have to leave us so young? Two wolves block our path, and they seem to have killed a man. But now that we like wolves, I suspect it was the man's fault. That—that's what he gets. We don't want any trouble. No, I did—I did say I didn't. I, you heard me. What did I say? I said we didn't want any trouble. Oh, majestic beast of the tundra! Would you like a second chance at life for about eight seconds? How does that sound? The mighty Shags the Third and Shagger Esquire. Hey, you—you—you've had better days, haven't you, mate? Let me introduce you to the squad. Um, I don't know where where Shags the Third went. And I'm not sure where you think you're going. Listen, we might have lost Shags, Shags the second, and the mighty Shags the third seems to have wandered away. But we do have a groaning man now who's stinky, isn't he? He's a bit stinky and, and oh. Oh, 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 okay. I guess we don't have a groaning man that's stinky. Ah, the beautiful and suspicious and hold on to it. What? I'll be back for it later. No, no, no. You want to talk to the big man? That lad down there just gave me something, Stevie. I suspect he wanted to talk to you. But me, of course, being the one who's sworn to carry your burdens, I took it off your hands for you, so don't you worry about it. I see someone run past just now. No, I'll beat it, you. I lied to you, mate. He's down there. He said he buried it deep in the sea. I don't know what you gave me, but I want to keep it in case it's good. And he's, he's down there doing a little dance. This isn't bad. You have gained the high ground. Now, the thing about the high ground is line of sight. You, you do have to be able to see the guy you're trying to kill. Are we not going to the, the pub? I thought we could just call it a day. Right, it's getting dark and you're going to want to go to the pub in about an hour and then wherever you are going you're going to change your mind and you're going to turn around see so i was thinking we could forgo that whole process and we could just go to the four shields i think it's called or we carry onwards because you're the dragon ball and you make the decisions but if we end up back at the four shields i'm going to be mad not that you're going to care but i'm going to be mad and i tell you what you don't see an executioner every day hello sir hello yeah let's get the execution the executioner's on our side we can't lose <laughs> you're dead sir oh oh I hit him with a dagger! I might have even killed him! Ow! This one's mine! Come on! Yes! I killed somebody! I killed somebody on my own! Hey! Ah, sorry, it's <laughs> I'm grabbing you by the... Oh, my apologies, I was just going to say... I was going to shake your hand and introduce myself. At, uh, come on, come on, give me give me a sec. Give me, give me a chance. I'm sorry I grabbed you by the bitch, right? I'm Simon, pleased to meet you. That's, uh, that's the Dragon Ball you'll be hearing a lot about him, so you will. Pleasure to meet you, pal, but obviously with your occupation, I hope not to see you again, do you know what I mean, mate? Do you know what I mean? Uh, just a wee executioner joke, I'm sure you're, I'm sure, sure you're all about the wee execution. In fact, I'm sure you're probably sick of hearing executioner jokes, but, um, tough. Stevie, Stevie, where are you going? That's backwards. That's the walk of a man who wants to go to the pub now. We could have went to the pub at Rorikstead, perfectly acceptable pub, perfectly fine pub. And now where are you dragging me? Dragon Bomb. I see the irony in this video now. Perhaps the entire intentional irony maybe that's where the idea came from who would know you are the one dragging me and now he's going back down the hill and now he's coming back up <laughs> this is what happens to a man that hasn't had his baby that's what it is he wanted me to bring back shags my apologies I, I was seeing all the commotion and all the excitement of me actually killing somebody for once I, I, I wasn't even thinking come on pal come on shags shags the fourth i can carry shags uh, no no i can't actually okay well, you're just going to have to come along for the next few seconds before you, you die and your, your soul goes to the soul cairn. If I just doomed all of our lovely pets to an eternity in the soul cairn, is that how that works? Or is that soul gems? I should, I don't, I don't know how all this magic stuff works. 
Here was me thinking I was becoming desensitised to the death of Shags. Back to Rorikstead. Back to the tavern. We can have a right good piss up. Back to the tavern. The tavern? The tavern, ya dancer. He has decided to go to the Frostfruit Inn. I was wildly wrong about what inn it was. See, we should have came here earlier and we would have known better. Hey, what happened? Whoa, who's throwing food at me already? Are you giving me my dinner? Dragonborn. Hey, you better smoke salmon. To our first adventure. Stevie. Apologies. <laughs> you bloody well should apologise for this adventure, by the way. It was mostly just walking about. It was probably kind of crap. All right. And a wild waste of time. But isn't that how the Dragonborn always spends his days? To me and you. And to the doomed fate of Skyrim. What's the problem? Stevie! What, just, Stevie, why are you burning that? Just, Stevie, this is not how we are supposed to be celebrating our first grand adventure. Well, I guess we know what kind of dragon barn we're following. I'm going to sit this man here, and you are going to apologise to the poor man. This man's life was, was this man's life, out of the way, this man's life was worth more, <laughs> was worth more than a slice of salmon. It was bloody good salmon, though. 